Hello. Yeah, just looking around. How much are uh, each game? Uh, 50, cents. 50 cents a game. And this is all you have? Thank you. Fair enough. Which is getting difficult over the years. So they're looking for the original Xbox games. Um, okay. They weren't sure if they. We have some. Of, they are, but, yeah. them out of course, the the best Sonic game ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic 06. Is it the best one? No. no. Okay. The complete opposite. It's yeah. very infamous. This game's awesome, though. So is this one. Star Wars The Force Unleashed and God of War 3. This game's the GOAT. Yes. Yeah, I was kind of mad to see him put that one in. Huh? I don't even have a PS3 anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> Gotta get one, man. <clears throat> this game, dude. <laughs> if you didn't watch this show in high school, there's not a lot I can do for you. Did not watch That's the show. That's an awesome show. It was, the, it was yeah. the, the best show ever. That's a mind bender. Although I could tell, like, as the show wrapped up, you could tell the writers had no idea I agree. I didn't how it was going to end. I They're just like, satisfied. nope. They're all 36. They're just like, uh, we'll just go along with it and keep cool cliffhangers. And then yeah. towards the end, they're like, oh, we actually didn't have any idea what we were doing with that writing. I remember this was like on the GameCube, but I never knew. <laughs> I never knew it came out that late, yeah. I tell you, though, I don't have a PS3. This is when the original Xbox stuff comes out, too. Okay. I might pick this up, though. The, the big fat original Xbox controllers. Is it? Oh, it's the Duke. I know one of them needed fixed. Look at this. That's crazy. This is great, though. Look how enormous that is. Yeah, I know. This wouldn't apply today. Yeah. I gotta look through here, too, before you guys get to. I don't know. Because this was mine. Okay. You see anything in there you're interested in? Just this one. Just that one? Yeah. yeah. I never liked that game. See, I don't think it's going to hold up too well today. Morrowind. Morrowind, yeah. I'm excited for Skyrim, though, on the Switch. How That'll much were you selling cool. the system for, just out of curiosity? I, I, it wasn't even for sale. Yeah, oh, okay. Brand new old, and I'm willing to sell it, but I... It wasn't intended. You can feel free to make me an offer, and we can go from there. If you're interested. And do you know how much you want per game? I we weren't planning to sell this, so make me an offer if it's something you're you're interested in. Or you can do is say no. Or right. Figure out a price that works. I don't really need an Xbox. I have one in the game room currently. It's just that sidewalk like coming up. Do you want the Wii? I don't know. It's the newer model, so it doesn't have the GameCube functionality. Oh, well, that's weird. That kind of kills my interest in the system itself. Yeah. Well, I guess it depends on the price tag. That's true. PS3, people can't give these away. They're everywhere right now. Right? This thing's kind of sick, though. This headset. The old uh, PS3 headset. What were you asking on the Wii bundle? Uh, for everything, I was looking for 50. Could we buy a, a game? Yeah, just a single buy, game? Buy a game? Okay. I'm trying yeah. to get my kid down here. Do you have more? Oh. Do you have more games? Games? Not playing? Uh, I don't know. Do you have anything handheld like DS or Game Boy or anything? Okay. Thank you. We'll hang out. In fact, I'll head to the rest of the street real quick, sure. and then I'll swing back and meet you, okay? Amazon. Amazon. Home Depot or something like that. Yeah. Maybe may not carry them.
Were you selling any of these games separately? No. Or? They were all going to go with the Wii. Okay. Thank you. You bet. The old Nin. It's collectible. Oh my god. Had someone tell me that VTech was collectible. VTech? Like Every, those, everything like, on the table. Consoles? Yeah, it was like those like orange and gray like reader things. Everything on the table is collectible. And they wanted twenty five dollars for a Pac Man plug and play. Uh if they had like real video games I would I couldn't have argued that they were collectible. Yeah. I told and them, then the uh seventy five dollar Wii bundle. Yeah. That you guys saw. Oh my god. That's the downside of neighborhoods with money is that people are actually smart with money yeah so they a lot of people instead of just giving stuff away will be asking close to retail uh, it's above. too bad that the people that don't need any money at all are the ones that want like $75 yeah. for a week come on man I probably wouldn't have bought that for anything though I don't have any interest in Wii I have another I still have a test of the Wii that I got from um, Goodwill so I still need to do that and I had somebody tell me that with all the Wiis if you if there are games on it, you can transfer multiple different Wii consoles to your Wii U. So just keep buying them. So you can just keep buying Wiis with games on it and just siphoning them to your main Wii U. Wow. So that'd be cool. That would be dope to just have a massive like digital collection. And then maybe at some point the Switch will let you transfer the Wii U to the Switch, and then you just have a bajillion games that. And then a reason to yard sale again. Exactly. Because we find Wii stuff every other sell, but we can't find anything else anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, a couple community cells to head to right now, and we'll see if we can kind of save the fall. Games you pick up at Walmart still. I mean, Mist is cool, but oh, I see. There's only one game I'm looking for, and I'll never find it. Blade Runner. That's awesome. It's amazing. I've seen it twice now. It is. Jack the Ripper. Miss Three Exile. I love these giant boxes. Too bad it's empty. Jack the Ripper. Yeah, these are all like those like point and click adventure games. Could never get into those. Yeah, I don't either. YouTube's probably screaming at us right now. Oh, cool. There's two different models of PSP in there. I'm not sure which one's which. Did you ever play the? Oh, did you ever play PSP games? Yeah, I don't know if I played those. PSP didn't have a second. This one was awesome. It's if it's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, uh, you use you these with, yeah. as like the aim, and this is the move. Yeah. It really wasn't that bad. How about, how about twenty for both? Twenty for both. I can do twenty for both. Okay. I'll go twenty for any. You can see me ten later. Okay. What is going on YouTube? White here once again back on the casting couch with Harvey Fanstein. I want to thank you for oh my giving god, me a little that's for quite the joke. At the recent holiday party. Oh my god! Uh, let's jump into I guess pretty much all fall worth of garage sales. Uh, not as good as a normal fall, but definitely better than the last several months. We've actually had some yeah. fun stuff to show off. Um, how, off camera. Yeah, how how many weeks are we looking at this? This is like a month ago. This oh my is like, god. like September, maybe even early August. No, this is like September. 
Uh, jump into off camera free free freebies. Yeah, we got here. We came up and people were literally trying to get rid of stuff, including a bunch of DVDs. And in the DVD pile, we found a winner for sure for free. Yeah, I got Mario Kart Wii for free. Um, I went up, asked them how much they wanted for it. They said just take it. It's really good condition actually, and uh, and complete. It is complete, and the case is in great condition. Um, Absolutely no complaints Free. about that. Yeah. I mean, I know it's unbelievable because we didn't get it on camera, but it was free. Um, we tried to get it on camera, but yeah. failed. It, it failed to happen. At a fundamental level. Which is unfortunate. Um, we play, but unfortunately it is empty. Um, I didn't check it because it was free. Right, no. So I was like, I'm just going to We should take some of those cool DVDs and Blu-rays. I don't know why we left I all took, I took a couple. Okay, you did take some? But it was mostly DVDs, so I'm not surprised I didn't take it. It was all like free. They're just like anything yeah. you see here, you can have for free. Uh, they also gave me this for free, which is the 3DS iteration of Majora's Mask. But it is definitely a game that you want a strategy guide for because oh, there's yeah. a ton of like Easter eggs and stuff. And got the whole like time thing. You, re you, you relive the same and... day and stuff over and over yeah. again. So. Uh, same day, I think I got this for free. I might have paid like 50 cents out of my pocket for it. A trainer's guide. It's pretty cool. This came with fire red and leaf green. Oh, okay. Uh, also off camera because we're not going to film. Is this like a strategy guide or what is this? Uh, I want to say it came, you know, I guess it's too big to come in the box. Yeah. Remember how those gold and, gold and silver had the player's guide and so the red and blue? They came oh, in like the box. So okay. I feel like that's the version of that. I was trying to find the Scholastic logo. But I don't know. But it's not Scholastic. It's a, it's a Pokemon related thing from cool. the early 2000s, so it's going to pick it up for 25 cents or whatever. Looks like they tore up the posters already. And uh, toss it on the game shelf. Let's get into the local community cell, which is yeah. usually a big hit. Uh, today was not a big hit. Yeah. Um, you started us off with a free find, which is kind of Yeah, weird. this, well, how many weeks ago was this one? This was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Yeah. So, I go up, I ask if they have any video games, and he like immediately is like, oh, yeah! I'm like, oh, sweet! And then he, he walks over with this and goes, here you go. And I'm like, do you have any more? Nope. How, how much did you want for this? Oh, just take it. And okay. So, so I just. It's for later, if nothing else. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why he had it, why he has no other games, why he doesn't have Mario, because it came with I'm the sure system. Book, Bookman but, took everything but that. That's true. 20 years ago when he went and traded it in. Where did you get this at? I, mean, I think I got this for five bucks. Yeah, pretty with, sure. With the nunchuck? Yeah, I think I got this both for five bucks. That's if it was deal. like five bucks each, that's not he, that great. He had the Wii for a decent, for a kind of a high price, but then yeah. he said he'd sell you the game for five dollars. But he was piecing out the games, and they were reluctant to sell this, which I actually really need because I've got a lot of Wii modes, but no nunchucks right. for some reason. Nunchucks are much of fun, um, especially the black ones because these came out a lot later in right. his lifespan. So I was like, well, you've got like a million of these. You're not going to need all of them. Yeah, for five bucks. It, yeah. As a combo, that's a great deal exactly. for five dollars. Uh, the next cell we stopped at, the same community cell. It seemed like we were there for three years. Yeah, they brought out much. a P oh, PS3 three lot and Xbox, original Xbox lot. Yeah. Uh, you, I, I drove, so you gave me the kind of the pick of the litter, and I picked Morrowind, uh, Game of the Year edition. Has decent value on the original Xbox. I'd put it at like fifteen dollars. Uh, you ever play Condition is fantastic. I'd never played more when I never played more either. I was Oblivion a lot. I had a PS2 when I was growing up, so I never had a chance to play this game. But it is black label. It's not the sad. Silver, it's not the silver like player's choice one. So it's, yeah, it's a pretty cool find. I'll put it right in the five dollar game collection. I love the design of it. It's just the shiny gold. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. I wish they made covers kind of like that nowadays. And then I picked this up because I've never seen this game before. I've never heard of it. And it has cool it, cover art, And too. it's got cool cover art. It's called Enclave. And then if you look at the back, look at that art. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> it's just, like, this giant demon dragon thing. And this person's wearing, like, bone armor. Look at that. Bone? It's just bone. <laughs> it's something called Cillian Grove. <laughs> I'm glad you got that. I'm glad you got yeah. that reference. No can do. Reservations at Dorcia. <laughs> sea Urchin Cavici. This looks like it's in good condition, so that's cool. And then I also picked up Marvel Ultimate Alliance for the PS3 because it's just another great co-op game. Yeah, I remember it. It's like a top-down beat 'em up slash RPG with like a leveling system. And all the characters have their own like powers, right? Yes, they all have their own so powers. So like unique to use in Spider-Man. It's cool. It's it's a good game. I, I like picking up as many co-op games as possible. Sure. Couch co-op because. 
I feel like couch co-op games never really age. Like, I can always go back and just play yeah. any... Like, I can go back and play Gauntlet. Because yeah. it's just, it's couch co-op, it's just a fun kind of... It's a top-down, so get the graphics together is, it's not like a 3D yeah. try-hard game where the graphics don't age well, the top-down Exactly, down, so. yeah, the top-down. Um, and usually PS3, I don't know, some of those games just have really good... Yeah, co-op games fidelity. are always good to get... Uh, everything's online now, yeah. it's funner to play stuff. Nothing's oh. co-op anymore, it's fun to play stuff with, with the lads. Let's get into uh, today's finds. We're not going to show the PC stuff. Uh, in fact, we'll break for five seconds here and you can pick out some pick stuff you want to show. I ended up getting, this was at an estate sale, I'm assuming someone, an old man must have died or something because they yeah. were clearing out the whole household. They wanted 40 bucks for these PS, or for these old PC games. Uh, I was about to leave and then the woman said like, what's the lowest, or what's the highest you could go? And I said, honestly, I could go 20 bucks. Uh, I did that to see if anything is there, if there's anything of value in the boxes. Um, you guys can let us know in the comments. I know I'm sure all the subscribers already know. Uh, I will show you a pan of all of the games at the end of this video. They're they're in there. I'll show you a pan of all the games at the end of this video. Uh, but right now, fan, I can show you games of interest real quick. But so now you bought a huge collection. So obviously, some of these games have to be complete. So I just bought twenty dollars, yeah. just literally to roll the dice if anything has any value. If not, I can. I'm sure someone will trade. You know, and it, it's it's cool seeing some of these PC classics because there are PC classics. I mean, a lot oh, yeah. of people don't think about collecting PC because I mean you can just illegally download them. That's the biggest very issue, easily. Yeah. Um, and then Grim Fandango, a Lucas Arts game, <laughs> classic classic game. I actually haven't played this game, but they did recently re-release this with better graphical fidelity. But I'm sure there are other people out there that just want the original discs because, I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. it would be a future nickname for you. Look at... Look at the artwork and everything. It's nightmare fuel. I just, I love the just artwork on these things. It makes me sad that you can't really buy physical games anymore. No. That's why I buy all Blizzard games. Physically, because they have like these amazing boxes with these huge yeah. photo artworks Collect and collector's edition it's stuff. Got, they've usually got manuals in them, which don't even come in like, console games anymore. It's it's something amazing. They um, come with, like physical, like cool things like medallions. Yeah, and, like, stuff it, like yeah, that. they come with cool stuff. Um, also, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I picked this one out of the bin because I played the hell out of this game when I was a kid. It was so cool. You I could can game run there. around Hogwarts. And the graphics were great for the time. Really? And you could do like a game of Quidditch. And it's like oh, this flying around. And oh my god, freaking awesome. I love this game. Love to see the physics for the brooms. They had the how Yeah, I don't even remember. Um, and then. Westwood Studios is that command. Blade Locker Runner, Locker. made by Westwood Studios, another victim of EA and their evilness. Um, my god. I miss Westwood. I mean, they made Command and Conquer. That's what I thought. I remember, they, I remember them, and I didn't play a lot of PC games. So, I, I mean, they made some great stuff. So I'm wondering how this game is. This is Blade Runner. With 3D Harrison Ford on the cover. It's called the first real-time 3D adventure. That's the uh, subtext Yikes. here. Yikes. Look at that. <laughs> Those are some graphics. I... I thought it was just time appropriate. It is. Both maybe it's, because the movie came out. It could right be now, now because, film. because of the film. And also because of the hate for EA. <laughs> um, Shivers. Well, that I don't, looks like a fun point and click horror game. I don't remember taking this out, but I do know Sierra. Sierra made a lot of great. Um, I don't know if they're a publisher or a developer. I think they're a developer, and they've they've developed a lot of great RTS games. And this, you're right. This does look like a really cool horror point and click type. I like those slow paced point and click games age really well. I can't play them. I'm terrible at them. I don't know where to click. I can't figure it out. But since they didn't do much with graphics, it's more like portraits than actual it is. graphics. Exactly. The age is great. You can still yeah. play it. Uh, I got T T Mugen. T Mugen. T Mugen. Uh, I just brought this out because Berkman's offered us money for it when they looked at the box. So I have a feeling it must have some sort of value. Uh, it came out in 1998. I'll show you guys all the stuff again. I never. As soon as me and Fanta check out, I'll show you a quick clip of of everything, and I'll scroll slowly so you guys can see all the games. Uh, text in the comments or PM us if you're interested in trading. I will not keep PC games, so I'm either going to sell them or trade them to another gamer uh, for stuff I actually want. Yeah. So let me know. Keep in mind, I'm going to be having to refinance the house to pay for the shipping for these. I just had to. I had to take that out just because 
WrestleMania. They're not. In, I didn't see them in the box either. So Look at the size of that one. box. This I brought up because I'm that just gonna have epic. it slowly creep up because the giant size of this box. Look at how big this box is. And I'm gonna show you the back here in a second. But this, I love this. This that is, is a awesome. big box PC game. This is a big box PC game, and it comes with every single thing like you just mentioned. It comes with the strategy guide. It comes with a computer collectible. It's got the soundtrack. It's got the making of video. It's got all four discs for the game. Back when they needed four discs for the game. I'm sure there's still some, like Grand Theft Auto V. Is this stuff um, in there? None of that's in there. None there? of this is in here, but I okay. did find most of this in the in actual the box. Cool. But look at that. That's insane. I would totally buy more physical PC games. If they were like this, that you feel like your sixty dollars is going far with a Seriously. huge walk down the store with a huge ass box like that, and not like a tiny little disc or a code nowadays. Yeah, Just a digital code. You actually felt like your sixty dollars like this went to so a, cool. a big badass purchase. Yeah, I. I just, oh, they don't make them like they used to. So again, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show everything uh, in detail and I'll kind of scroll through it slowly so you guys can see it. Hold on a second. Oh Thank God, you. I have to show oh, this. God. I'm sorry, I have to show this. Look at this. This is why I like Blizzard games. This just giant fold out freaking thing. Look at that. Look at the graphics. Like you said, point and get click games age so well. Yeah, it still looks beautiful if the game actually looks like that. Or it does. Like it seems. really does. And um, the graphics were insane. It's back a point then. and click like puzzle game, right? It is. You yeah. Go, you have to go through like a set of puzzles. Yeah. Free movement Never played system. Them. I remember puzzles. them showing this stuff at our elementary school during those like scholastic book fairs. Scholastic book fairs. They would fairs. always try to sell you mist and stuff. Those were awesome. Uh, getting into, I think, probably the find of the day, unless one of these PC games is worth a bunch of money. Yeah. Um, these guys brought out a PSP lot uh, when I was asking about, hand I mentioned handhelds and they ran in and got this. Uh, they were genuine sellers trying to get rid of items at a garage sale, not trying to get really rich. We probably could have given them $30 easily for this lot, but we ended up giving them 20 bucks. Uh, I had $20 bills, so that was that's why I made that offer. I had $20 bills in my wallet, and that was it, because uh, I didn't get cash back. Yeah. So they ran in. He accepted $20 kind of as we were getting ready to leave, and uh, we got a exceptional, I think an exceptional deal. I'll let you show off all of your stuff first. All right. All the stuff you'll be keeping for 10 bucks. So I will be keeping the first... PSP, which I'm hoping works, because I don't know why they bought a second one. Um, hopefully this works. I like the original one, just because it's got like some heft to it. You can grip it a little bit better than the older or the newer one, because it's kind of got that like hand feel to it. Um, the buttons just feel a little bit nicer. The screen actually has a better screen than the newer ones, but the nice thing with the newer ones is that the battery lasts a hell of a lot longer because okay. they don't have that original screen. Um, also, instead of being that like, I don't know, this kind of just feels flimsy to me because of the way that this opens up. Where you like, it does feel cheap. The, the back panel feels super cheap. It feels cheap, like you're yeah. going to break it. Whereas yeah, exactly. this, that like pop out thing. Super satisfying. It's like the VHS actually, if you think this about it. This system still it's like a looks VHS new player. and cool to me, despite the fact that it's well over a decade old. Oh yeah, I love these things. This is probably one of my favorite handhelds. It would be my favorite if it weren't for the terrible battery. Yeah. Um, just because they're so easy to hack, you can put a ton of great games on it. PS1, um, and then you can also get all the PSP games. Get everything, well. every NES game, every Super Yeah, Nintendo oh yeah, of course. Game. You can also make this your basically portable emulator. Right. And yeah, it's super easy to do. I, I might do a video on it. I know I've said that in the past, but... You mentioned this one. This one, I think, was kind of a launch title, or it came out... Early. No, no, this came out a lot later. Um, okay. We're thinking of Battlefront 2, which was actually in this one. Okay. Um, Battlefront 2 was okay for the PSP. It had various issues. Uh, the online was meh. Controllers were probably um, the biggest issue. If this is the one I'm thinking about. I'm pretty sure it is. This one's really cool. Battlefront... What is it? Elite Squadron. You can customize your character. You can customize your vehicles. Your emblem goes on your vehicle. You can put 16 players online oh, that is with this game. It was so much fun. And I just had a blast. Like, this game has more content than the new Battlefront games. I'm telling you I right now. That. It's got instant action. It's got galactic conquest. It's got every single thing that you want from a Battlefront game. 
and it's all on the on the go, and it is almost the best, like almost as the same graphics as the PS2 if you look at it. Yeah, comparable. And oh my god, this just no second joystick, which was a nightmare. Such a marvel. Um, they did get around that by allowing you to walk onto enemies with the right trigger. It's kind of cheating because you're just locking yeah, on. Yeah, it's a shooter. Of course, it's cheating. But you can also use the buttons right here as kind of like directional aim. That's what it's I a remember. little bit wonky. I remember that. But like the buttons on the right controlling your legs and this controlling your view in, yeah. in one game, which was the complete opposite of every game you've been playing. So it's yeah. super awkward. Uh, if only they had done it a joystick down here instead. You know, I don't you just walk around. With I don't know why they didn't. I mean, it looks like there's room. Like, I have no idea what they were thinking. I don't know. Uh, what did you have in the, in the bag here? I was always hoping for a PSP 2. I don't know about you, but I feel like there's so much wasted Maybe potential. Maybe Sony will give us a Nintendo Switch type console. Extra battery for... I can't tell which PSP. I bet yours. It's it might be mine. For this one. Yeah, it's the, for this one. So extra battery, so that's cool. Very helpful. Um, charger. I'm not going to take it out. It's just wedged in there. There's a charger, so that's fine. cool. Is it for yours? Yeah. Oh, because there was no battery in it? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. You should yep. probably have that battery. Um, <laughs> and then... Oh, some more games in here, actually. I don't remember. More games. Harry, <laughs> Harry Potter again. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It's a great film. Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. That sounds like a hell of a game for all the girls. That sounds really cool. And then Transformers Re Revenge of the Fallen. So I'm sure that's a shovelware, shovelware title. Yeah. I'm, to be fair, there's there some. For me? I don't think so. Okay. I think there's just the one. I don't think this is my battery. It's too big. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a battery at all for that thing? I don't know. I think that one's too too fat. But like I said, we'll have to look at mine here in a second. Um, they also have the earbuds, which I will never use because it's kind of gross using somebody else's earbuds. Yeah, no, they look actually really clean. Um, the cool thing is that this also has a mic, I believe, because it's got the plug-in, at least, because I know you could actually do online chat with the PSP when you played online. So even the DS didn't have that, because Nintendo... We still don't have it. We still don't have it! That's a great point. In 2017, That's still ridiculous. Still yeah. I... Nintendo still is behind the PSP. That's, That's shocking. Uh, I got the PSP 3000, um, which you said it's the third generation? Then? It's the third generation, yeah. It was so, 1000, 2000, okay. 3000. I don't know where the PSP Go fits into that. I think it was the, the last one. I, I think it might have been the last one. one. Uh, as you mentioned, the system, I don't know why. Let's see here. if there's another charger in here for you. No batteries. The system's in great shape, uh, fantastic shape. Like It's almost like they didn't even play it. Yeah, it's... No charger yeah. and no battery, so I don't know uh, what's going on. But all that stuff you purchased on eBay, like, third party for really cheap. That's true. I'm just so surprised, because that's the one that's in the best condition, whereas this one's kind of... You wouldn't think it would have Frankensteined it. Yeah. But uh, for 10 bucks, super value, and it'll be going on my bookshelf kind of as a collector's piece, and I'll be selling my other PSP I bought. I don't know how the hell we got this thing. Got the yard sales. Um, jump us into random shilling of random things. Yeah, so there's a giveaway right now for a really fun JRPG kind of Western style RPG game with the graphics and the art style. Um, it's called Battle Chasers Night War. It's a ton of fun. That's the game we're giving away. The only thing you have to do is subscribe to Fantavision, and there's all these other extra things you can do for extra entries. Over on Fantavision, I've got um, Fire Emblem Warriors. Review going up today, probably tonight, because this is going up Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah, so tonight it'll be going up over in Fantavision. I just beat the game today. Is it the same battery? It looks yeah. different. Yeah, it is. Well, this one's smaller. Huh. Maybe not. Interesting. So, um, review's going up over there. I've got Fanta Rants, and then I'm going to bring back Tales from Retail. Um, I'm probably going to shoot an episode tomorrow, and that'll go up later on in the week. Lots of rants over there. So if you like rant videos, definitely a good place to go, as well as news and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'll be showing a one-year anniversary of the $5 game collection, just to see so how far I came in one year. Yeah, it was October of last year. Oh my god. Our first find was that ridiculous GameCube lot. 
You're right. From last, last, year last year's Copper Creek Community Cell. So last October's. Wow. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how much money I have, what I have, um, and then I'll be kind of giving you my year review of game hunting because that was a big thing we were talking about a year ago is game hunting dead. How many episodes of Five Dollar Game? Club? Probably eleven or twelve. Roughly one a month. Oh, for, that's not for bad. Last year. Um, so I'll give you guys a review on that, show you everything I have, kind of we'll talk about the value and stuff. Um, and it definitely started better than it finished because the last six months have been kind of slow. Yeah, the first bad. six months were lightning fast though. We are out as always. Uh, leave a thumbs up on the video. If we get 500 thumbs up, we will get up and actually go <laughs> garage selling instead of <laughs> being binge drinkers the night before. Uh, we are out. 500 thumbs up. Leave a comment. I'm going to show you the games right now. Let, let us know what's valuable, what's good, what's worth keeping. If you're interested in trading, uh, leave a comment or a personal message. Uh, I'm not keeping any of the PC games, so I'm, it's all up for trade, sell, barter, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Send me a personal message on our uh, Facebook channel. We're out. Later, guys. Of the Logos There lives a girl Not any girl The story goes She was a sloppy elm Too powerful for humankind And loneliness she was confined And every day She stroke her wing The world would never know She's born half angel She couldn't smile She couldn't sing Magic in the world Could shake this feet frozen woods leading nowhere in particular she could feel him there she could see him there watching her with his human eyes and could it be oh could it be another angel inside this human